I wish you and your family a very, very happy Easter. Today is Holy Thursday. This is sometimes referred to as Monday Thursday, the day of Christ's great commandment. Why do they call this commandment great? Well, let's backtrack a bit. When I was in regular ministry, I was in a large church and I was with a lot of people during their final moments in body as they were making their transition. And it's interesting, if the person is mentally able, they will gather family around and they will have that last message. And everyone is there and leaning over and listening intently as the person is intently delivering the message that is so very, very important. It's as if they're saying, listen, this is important. This is the last thing that I will have to say to you. And I want you to remember this. Do you know what that last message is 90% of the time? It's the person saying how much they love the other people in the room. And sometimes it's been the first time that that's been voiced in years. Maybe there have been quarrels, angers, uh, hatreds even. But in those last moments, it is always a reaching out in love. Now Christ knew that he was going to die. He knew it. And in this last evening that he had with his disciples... He said this, this is from John 13, verse 34. I give you a new commandment. Now, now let's stop there for a minute. Jesus, as you know, is not just talking to the disciples. He's talking to me. He's talking to you. I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you should love one another. I tell you, if we did that, we would truly follow Jesus Christ. That one thing, that great commandment, and yet so many times I see that not being followed. I see churches in congregational wars where people will get into political battles and, and fight one another on Sunday morning. <laughs> the whole gist of Christianity is to love even those that don't love you. To love continuously. So if you want to have a real resurrection in your life, to rise above your former self, to live on a higher path, to have everything change in your life. Do this one thing, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you should love one another. So, I ask you to follow that this Easter and, and hopefully beyond, that you will love everyone, that you won't hold resentment inside of you, that you won't hold hatred inside of you, that you're going to rise spiritually to a spiritual person that loves, a spiritual person that follows the Jesus Christ way in her or his actions daily, in your thoughts. And you'll see over time that everything changes. Now, will those that don't love you now love you? Maybe, maybe not. But that doesn't matter to you. What matters to you is what's inside of you. You live in here not out there. <laughs> and that is the truth. You may journey out there, but everything is 
good or bad, depending on how you feel in here. And if you feel good in here, everything will change and you'll become a magnet for your good. So I ask you to follow on this Holy Thursday, this commitment to this new commandment. I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you should love one another. I pray with you today that you have the power of Christ coming through your words, that you have the power of Christ in your mind, that you have the power of Christ in your walk, in your stance, in your presence. I pray every part of you is an exhibit of Christ's love to everyone, not just some, everyone around you continuously. Amen.